What's up guys, this is Kasim from Digital Gladiator and we are back with the video today talking about Penguin 4.0. So today, Friday, September 23rd, Google announced through their Webmaster Central blog that Google that uh, Penguin is now part of their core algorithm. So what this basically means is there's no more <clears throat> there's no more like updates, refreshes of Penguin, um, but we'll get into details right here. So first off, first thing we can see here is Penguin's now real time. That's what we knew for, for a while now, if you've been keeping track of what they've been talking about it for the last almost almost a year now, I'd say, um, about a year or so, actually. And so we've known that it was going to be real time. We just didn't know when it was coming out. Obviously, that's t today. They're starting to roll that out. Um, and it also says that Penguin is now more gran granular. So what that basically means is it's not gonna not going to affect the whole site. Um, but rather certain areas of the site, like certain pages, not maybe not specific uh, page, one or two pages, but certain amount of pages on the site. So I'm not 100% certain on what that exactly means to be completely transparent with you guys and honest. Um, but from what I've seen and read so far, it means that it's not uh, going to be one specific page. It's not going to be the whole site. It's going to be like granular, whatever that even means. <laughs> so... Um, that's basically all they really said themselves. Now going on to search engine land here, um, they said Google updates Penguin, says now runs in real time within the core search algorithm like we just talked about. Um, so this is the last Penguin update in quotation marks because they're not, it's just going to be real time obviously. Um, so it says Penguin becomes more page specific, not site wide only like we talked about, more granular. Um, from its post, so Penguin is now more granular. Penguin now devalues spam by adjusting ranking based on spam signals rather than affecting ranking of the whole site. So previously, obviously, yeah, Penguin was a site-wide penalty, obviously. Um, so it's not going to be cut and dry anymore. Like the whole site is not going to be affected. <clears throat> and they asked Google for more clarity on this. It means it affects finer granularity than sites. It does not mean it only affects pages. So. Um, it's not going to be just the pages, it's the finer granularity, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm stupid, but I, I, don't, know, I don't know what granularity means. So, um, Google will no longer confirm Penguin update. Yeah, obviously. Is Penguin fully live? So this is interesting because it's, it's, roll, it's rolling out right now, so it's not fully live yet. So we're going to have to see within the next few days, maybe a week or two. Um, it'll probably be done by then, and we'll be able to see uh, in the next week or two what's going on, what who gets affected, who gets hit, who doesn't. Um, you could even um, look at uh, local businesses and figure out you know, what, what businesses got hit and you can, you can target them and you can try to pick them up as clients. So that's something to look for that a lot of people won't be thinking about. It's just that's a tactic that could work for you and get you some, some clients that way. So last article here, the SEM post, and uh, what they say a little different here, what, what do they add? That it was, this is going to be rolled out to all languages and countries at the same time. So it's not gonna be tested um, in one area or another. It's every single search engine for Google <clears throat> and real time, of course, Penguin no longer on site wide, no more Penguin updates. And then it addresses where the recent fluctuations, Penguin testing, um, and it says, Past few weeks, there's been some speculation about whether the recent fluctuations some were spotted in the search results were actually Penguin. While some people speculated that it was link-based, didn't seem that sites impacted by Penguin were seeing any real changes. So yeah, that was a I I agree with that. I think it was a separate update. And Google does tons of updates and quality adjustments, like it says right here. Um, so I don't think it was that. <clears throat> so can sites be negatively affected by real-time Penguin? Yes, they can. Um, real-time Penguin works both ways. Sites can recover uh, real-time. They can also be affected negatively real-time. And then how quick for Penguin cleanups done starting now? Um, I believe they said that it, it's just um, they once the page gets recrawled, they can start doing, uh, it'll, it'll start making changes. So they won't have to wait for a refresh, update or cycle. Let's make it different from Panda. Penguin is real-time. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah, so with recrawling both the site and the links, so and the links as well that are pointing to the site. Um, what if no recovery is seen? I asked this question to Google, and the Google spokesperson responded with, "It depends on many factors. 
So yeah, they're just kind of being a little vague with it. Depends on a ton of factors, obviously there. Uh, second, with the last pending update being two years ago, if someone had cleaned up links two or more years ago, there is a chance that there could still be some bad links pointing to the site that were viewed as high quality links at the time. So even if you were, <clears throat> you you recovered from a penguin penalty before, you could still be hit by that by penguin again. So that's something to look out for. Um, and then changes to linking guidelines. No, there were no changes. Changes to disavows. No, you still have to disavow links, and you still should should still do the same thing with disavows. <clears throat> so actually, one more thing here. Um, it's kind of interesting to note um, the actual the actual numbers here of how many uh, queries were impacted by Penguin in the past. So if you look at it, obviously the first Penguin update was the biggest with 3.1 percent approximately being affected and then from there is 0.1 percent 0.3 2.3 percent 2003 uh, 1 percent 1 percent and we'll have to see about this one um, but uh, 1 percent that's kind of like people would think okay it's only 1 percent it's not many at all but that's still a lot of queries we're talking about Google here it's a lot plus um, if, if you're an SEO you're gonna people in our community are gonna be hit a lot harder because Obviously, not every single website out there is manipulated with by SEOs, so um, that's something to think about. We'll just have to see what the effects are, and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated best I can. I um, just wanted to get this out for you guys to inform you and keep you up to date with everything that's going on. So uh, do subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm going to continue with the beginner course videos. Um, hopefully get one out tonight, if not tomorrow, and then continue that, uh, that series and finish that up and get more videos out to you guys. So again, subscribe if you enjoyed it, leave a like as well, uh, comment below, let me know if you've uh, seen any fluctuations, what you've seen so far, uh, would love to hear what you guys think, and I look forward to the next video guys, thanks.